The other day I was in my storage lockup and I noticed that a sliver of free space had made itself known. So there's only one solution to that and that's to go thrifting. Today's thrifting site was The Late One, a car boot sale held near Aylsham in Norfolk. So called because it starts at 11am on a Saturday rather than some frankly sick time of 7am or something ridiculous. Usually on a Sunday too. It's typically quite busy, especially given the free on-site parking. It feels a bit like a Primark sale to begin with, but there are bargains to be had amongst the crap, of course. This Planet of the Apes magazine stack caught my eye, but then a lot of stuff on the nearby stall did also. Masters of the Universe, for example. Not an original 80s model though, one of those 2003 remakes. But that Space Precinct doll sure is. Yoink. This guy was having a clear out of his collection, clearly, so we've got a Deep Space Nine watch, a Pepsi Star Wars watch, books of pogs, cereal boxes, Tazos, and these Micro Machines Star Trek models. Lots of intrigue. It always feels a bit weird having a good look when you've got the store owners eyeballing you directly, but I picked up a few bits of interest. Oh, a rotary phone. Uh, the woman wanted £20 though, so nah. This stall had some intact 80s stink bombs in that glass box. Interesting. I imagine they smell of literally nothing now though. Check out this Pi 640 desk calculator. It has a reassuring weight to it, perfect for a paperweight and light calculations on the fly. Old calculators always intrigue me, they feel like an old pet that needs a good home. I'm always intrigued by original MP3 players too. These ones were knocking about before Apple even came along, and who can resist a good Casio databank? Even in the 90s I never had anything to store on these, and I definitely don't now. But cool nonetheless. Not bad for £5 for the lot. Here's my parents, who I met at the car boot, along with my children. Well I didn't meet them at the car boot, I brought them with me. But it's weird how a full field of junk is often a great place for a family get-together. That's the UK for you. There were a few of these game stores knocking about, always a lot of jewel cases here and small game boxes, stuff like Cats 2 for the DS. They rarely have any big box software, but it's always worth having a quick rifle through to see if there's anything of interest. Now we are talking. A tease made from the 1960s. I'm actually buying this mainly because I'm writing a new book and for some reason I talk about tease maids in the book. So for £6 I can get freshly made, slightly manky 60s tea for when I wake and have something to take photos off for my book. Oh, look at BB gun, the 8-bit guy would love it here. This Corgi Slam Bam Sam set is pretty cool. I'd have been tempted to buy it if the box wasn't so utterly tatty. It's basically a pair of wired remote control cars that you can crash into each other. Hours of fun. Nope, here we go. This is where I start buying random old cameras for a pound. Yes, there's more to come. Although this store also had some genius true audio expression PC speakers. And I can't get enough of vintage PC speakers. I just need to finish setting up my selection of 90s PCs to go with them. Nearby, a Railway Wonders of the World book lurked, which was filled with detailed 70s and 80s illustration, which I absolutely adore. This microscope set from the 90s looked incredible, but I decided to pass. Honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to how my mind works at a car boot. Some crap I buy, some crap I don't. I do love these Yamaha PS keyboards. I've got one very similar. I was always impressed by its set of wavetable sound effects. Very realistic. But if you look next to it, yep, someone is literally selling a poop scoop. Well, that certainly stinks. Mmm, £12 for a widescreen monitor and keyboard. Tempting for the casual pro gamer. A casual pro gamer who could be wearing a space suit with a crocodile attached to it. This must be how Elon Musk got started. Uh, PS4 games here. 
I do like PS4 games, but I have too many PS4 games, which gives me decision anxiety already. Not to worry though, because here's a pair of Chinese worry balls. Anyone who's watched Red Dwarf will be familiar with this, featuring some bells inside no less. Clearly they were put here to tempt me into buying this advent laptop, which apparently was untested. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. No power supply you say? Right, of course. Still, for £20, with the worry balls, I decided to buy it for some reason. At least I can take the hard drive out, maybe, and salvage some RAM. If all else fails, I can just grind my balls for comfort. This bear, he looks sad at all my purchases. I don't blame you, mate. It's a terrible situation. You are a wise bear. Oh, the Topper Book 1975. We used to have so many comics to choose from. Now we've just got Beano, really. More games, some PlayStation 1 games this time, and a copy of Monopoly for a couple of quid, which I'll take because I'm on a quest to secure as many Monopoly games as I can. Ooh, Wii Play. Man, the Wii was so much fun. I just need to revisit it sometime. All right, check out this solid gold Lord of the Rings tape set. Apparently, it's a radio play from 1987, but it just looks so damn nice in this case, with the gold and the insert. £10, haggled down to £7. Yes, please. I think I've heard that. Thank you. Honestly, if you want an old LCD monitor, go to a car boot sale. They are everywhere. CRTs, a little less so. I'll just give you a quick scan over a typical stall as we're going. Most of them are like this, just unrelenting crap everywhere. Come on, Susan, let's chuck all the absolute garbage from our house in the trunk and go and sell it to a bunch of mugs. That's what a car boot is. And that's why I'm here. Plus, you also get the odd spider in a frame as well. But this immediately jumped out. A tiny iMac that's actually a calculator and clock. Filled with extreme corrosion, I might add. But for 50p, I'm definitely taking that. I'm also taking the Alien Quadrology, still perhaps the best Alien set you can purchase on disc, especially for 50p. Yeah. Sorry about the 50p, it's a bit, it's a bit grubby. <laughs> this store had a lot of games as well, but it just feels like such a mission to work through them all. I can't really be bothered. There might be something worth having, but I'd prefer just to retain my sanity, I think. But then I found a big flappy, Wii Mat. Complete with family trainer, and for some reason that appealed to me. What is wrong with me, honestly? What am I gonna do with that? Oh, a bat cave. This is the Fisher Price Bat Cave that was sold fairly recently. Definitely no 1989 Batman. Oh, look, I found a cache of more digital cameras, all shapes and sizes. I'll definitely spend £4 buying them for some unknown future video, perhaps. Still, I also got a couple of decent tripods for a few quid, which are always useful for filming. Now, this is the point at which my mother wanted to buy a vase, but the owner of the vase wasn't actually at the sale. It was a friend of the owner, and so the stall operator phoned her and I had a video call to negotiate the price. She wouldn't budge, so it was £15, but hey, it's good to talk. Right, okay. So it's, uh, it, is there any negotiation or is it stuck at 15 No, it's stuck at 15 Okay, okay. Oh, look at this Sony Vio. I love these neon coloured models. They're part of the C series, which came out in 2011, and even now they tend to sell for a couple of hundred quid. How much is your uh, Sony buyer? Tempting! The guy wanted £140 for the laptop alone, though, which my, mm, it seems friend. a little steep at a car boot sale. I'll buy some Sonic the Hedgehog VHS tapes instead. Oh, and this labyrinth maze, which I vividly remember buying from the school Christmas catalogue in 1991 or 92. I think it was the only item which was affordable. Kept me entertained for hours. So, £4 for that stack. That's nice. 
I also bought this Mad Cat's PS1 steering wheel for £2 because Thank I you. like old gaming steering wheels. They take up a lot of space though. So I might have to back. rein that in a bit. So now you've got a steering wheel in the view as well. Apologies for that. At this point, I dumped some stuff in the car. Well, actually, I gave some stuff to my dad to dump in the car. So that was nice. And I nipped across the road to the garage cash machine. And you know why, don't you? Yes, you do. That's right. I had to catch up on a quick online course with sponsor, Skillshare. Because over on Skillshare, not only can you learn about things such as programming, animating, making videos, but also you can learn how to sell things and therefore get inside the head of shrewd sellers like I'm going to need to shortly. This course by Parker Guard on building an Etsy shop that sells will help with that, helping you find a marketplace, refine your product and creating a memorable brand. There are also courses on marketing, web development, productivity, lifestyle, pretty much everything you need to refine and build on your creative life. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So, back here I am. £120 I haggled him down to, including that rather nice case. It's a really nice case, I really like it. And I really like the laptop. It's got an i3 380M CPU and actually it's pretty usable even today, especially as it has Windows 7 yeah, good, yeah. installed. Mm. The battery even holds charge. Of course, 2011 clearly isn't retro, but I have certain plans for this intriguing laptop. Alright, final chance to look at a few objects. And yes, buy another bloody camera. Oh look, an old BT phone. He sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> Thought I'd buy a Sooty's play pack for a pound as well. These used How to keep me entertained in the 80s for a couple of hours, yeah. maybe. Oh look, there's a baby in a bowl. And then I saw some Usborne know-how books because these books are amazing. I had to buy them. I had all of these in my childhood and I just like Oh, they're just so exciting to get involved in, and the drawings are very Usborne and engaging. And by this point, all the stores were packing up. It's only like an hour and a half since we got here, but <laughs> everyone seems to pack up quite quickly, so I guess it was time to go and bring this bargain hunting thrift session to a close. Here's the haul. I'm actually quite happy with this collection. That Micro Machine Star Trek set, the tease made, Chinese Worry Balls, Officer Brogan. You know, there's a lot here that I wouldn't buy if it was, say, on eBay. But the beauty of a car boot sale is the instant gratification, and it's really quite cheap. That being said, I still spent about £200, with that Sony Vio being the main expense. But damn, it's nice. That advent laptop didn't work, as you'd expect. Probably water damage or something like that, but I'm going to take it apart and see what's what. If nothing can be done, I'll just strip out some parts and call it a day. Also, these tripods are pretty nifty for five quid. I'm always running out of tripods, which sounds weird, but sometimes I'm using three or four cameras at a time, and some tripods have strengths over others. That little one is perfect for some tabletop scenes, for example. I guess that concludes GBR Thrifts episode 11. Thanks for watching, and um, until next time, I've been Nostalgia Nerd. Toodaloo!